All right, guys, it is May the 4th. I've got my old school Millennium Falcon t-shirt. I've got Qui-Gon Jinn's lightsaber, and I'm heading in to see and spend the entire day at Disney Hollywood. Join me. Let's dork it up a little bit. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner. We hope on? you enjoyed your visit to Hollywood today. Now wave goodbye to your adoring fans below. So I'm all the way over to Epcot. There's the ball in the background. I don't know if you can see it. It's way over there. I made some mistakes this morning. But that's always good, right? Day starts off rough, ends up great. So I uh, didn't charge my camera last night, so I'm doing that with the old battery pack. I was supposed to get dropped off at Beach Club to meet my buddy, Sergeant Gary. However, uh, the guy, I, it's my fault. I put the wrong thing in, but the guy, he said he was gonna uh, change it. He did not, but that's, that's it. It's okay. Oh, in back. just a few moments, we will be traveling over the headwaters of the Everglades. Fascinating. Uh, I don't know if I've ridden this leg of the Skyliner. So anyway, here's what I'm doing. I'm doing the Skyliner. I'm going with my buddy. We're gonna come back to Epcot. He's gotta, or he's gotta go. We gotta see if we can park hop. He's an annual pass holder. He's gotta swipe his band over at Epcot. Then we'll head over to Hollywood and then we're just gonna hunker down and stay there the whole day in case it goes to capacity. Did you know that the entire Walt Disney World Resort is over 40 square miles? So there you go. That's a lot. That's three announcements. And it's a beautiful, peaceful ride. A mute button might be. I mean, look, it, it's still interesting. It's only because I'm a weirdo trying to uh, vlog on a thing. So we'll go see if the park hopping works, swipe his band, head over to um, Hollywood. I have a reservation, so I'm good. And then, uh, yeah, we'll spend the day over there, see what May the 4th is like. Hope you enjoyed the most magical flight on Earth. I'm totally leaving all this in. Here we go. I'm gonna. Uh, we are not traveling along Buena Vista Drive, this roadway, and the city of Lake Vista. All right. I, I enjoyed the swamp thing and the water going down, but I, I don't need to know about Buena Vista Drive. They are both named Epcot Mall. Look, Epcot Mall. That's the back of the World Showcase. It is amazing to me how they developed this, that there's a nice breeze in here. I mean, this is a pretty cool way to fly. And I really liked the, uh, I really liked the little sky carts they had in the park when I was a kid. So this is really a nice nod and a great way to make some of these other resorts really, really accessible. So yeah, two thumbs up, but I'm ready for some Star Wars, man. All right, we're in, guys, and we can definitely confirm that you can indeed uh, park up after immediately checking in. So we went over to Gary's here. We went up as a pass holder. We went over to Epcot. He swiped his band and is now here in Disney Hollywood for May the 4th. So let's go walk around, see what's going on. I'm looking forward to seeing some good costumes. There you go. Everybody's getting there. I, I did not <laughs> did not bring my uh, Jedi robe. It's a little warm. I love that. You know, I bought one of the popcorn things once. It's cool. But when I went to Celebration two weeks later in Chicago, there was a guy there who had bought one. Yeah. He had General Deere sign, which was cool. I have the Millennium Falcon one and it hangs on Seamus's wall. We got no plans for lunch, no plans for dinner. Nope. It's all just gonna fall into place. Here. On May the 4th. All right, I'm assuming that these folks are lining up for some popcorn button. And I've seen a lot of the boxes that I also assume are the Darth Maul lightsaber also working so who knows what will be left we got an early 
<laughs> lightning lane, I can't, or individual boarding group for the merch, which is funny. Yeah. So we're gonna hit that here probably in the next half hour. Show you all the new Hollywood merch for May the 4th and uh, see if there's any left. Because who knows with these people? I, I'm one of these people. Look, guys. It's the backside of a walker. Backside of walker. Why isn't that a t shirt? I'm so ill prepared. Camera's barely charged. Just realized the microphone's not that charged. We will live. As you know, you get what you pay for here at Utah. But we're waiting about a half an hour, it says, for Star Tours. I don't think I've ever waited in line for it, at least not in recent history. Did not do Genie Plus yet. And I think you have to have Genie Plus to do the lightning lane, don't you? I think you gotta do it. So, I'm gonna make some decisions on the fly. If it works out, great. If not, that's great too. Uh, if I just go sit over in Batu and do nothing all day, Put that in the wind column and move on. The race around the galaxy is quite beyond me. Uh, but um, I'm certain you'll have a wonderful flight of it. And it is really quite lovely to you. Alright, so we've run through our lightning lane for clothing and merch. Now the big decision is, do I buy that dark Maul lightsaber? Because I can't decide. It looks awesome. It's $400. Seamus says we can sell it if we don't want it. I'm just not sure what to do. Either way, I'm heading in. We got sweatshirts. May the fourth be with you. 187 pounds, which my buddy Gary just told me is. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? Why don't they sort out the crowd? What's that? Why don't they sort out the flow of the crowd? Oh, yeah. Why do they have to Pretty much, yeah. I did this for the fight. It's free. Yeah. It's like, I'm going to go grab it. I know. It's pretty cool. Can you open it? Oh, would you like the whole presentation? Yes. All right, so this is our Darth Maul Legacy Saber for the 25th anniversary of Phantom Menace. For $400, you're going to get this display box, which is made of wood, as well as the double-sided saber. When you open the box, this is where the saber will be displayed. That's pretty cool. That's cool. You're gonna have that dual face scene play. It does also come with, um, typically it has this to cover these pieces. You do just want to show off that you can detach um, the, oh, yeah. the two sides of the hilt and then put these pieces on instead. As well as everything is gonna come uh, with uh, double A batteries. Okay. So three that would take here on the box and then three for each side of the hilt. You can also turn the music off if you would like. That way it doesn't turn on every time if that's what you're requesting. And then once you turn it back on, you just push this down and it resets. That looks pretty cool. The weathering is nice. This is done well. What does he say? I don't know. I don't know where the button is. Nothing. Very quiet. Well, I and mean, as we know, I'm a big Joffrey's fan, but Starbucks does win for the merchandise. Like, that's pretty cool. All three of these are really nice. Alright, so we all know that Disney Hollywood is changing. And we know that it's moving into something that's probably not going to be Hollywood, or maybe not going to be a Hollywood forever. But if you still need to see a screen used prop and you're a little Indiana Jones fan like me which is going on in the backgrounds that's pretty cool literally from the movie parked right here outside the Indiana Jones stunt spectacular which I'm not sure if that's the actual name I just made that up that's pretty neat Harrison Ford was right on there. Get in a fight on those tank tracks. They shoved in that thing. Look, there's the sunglasses. I don't know whose sunglasses those are. Those could be anybody's sunglasses. But that's pretty amazing. I just think that's cool that it's sitting right here and it's kind of tucked back in. 
And if you're on a on a run from the thing, you, you're not the show. You're not going to catch it. All right, so we are. I've decided not to purchase any merchandise. I really don't want to start collecting more things. I'm trying to be nimble and light, and it's hard, right? But that's what I'm working on. So I did not get uh, the Mace Windu. Mace Windu. That's absolutely wrong. Darth Maul lightsaber, because we already have the hilts. And the box is cool, but is it $400 cool? Yeah, but I'm passing on it. So now we're heading back to the front, drop Sergeant Gary's stuff off into his the locker, and then uh, and then maybe make some Genie Plus decisions or Lightning Lane or just start standing in lines. Oh, launch pad, that's right. Let's go. Uh, I loved it. I loved the animation with uh, the Beauty Beast restaurant. Mushu. Yep. This is the Beauty Beast restaurant. Yeah. Thirty years. And I think they're getting ready to redo Little Mermaid. They are. So that little that little corner will be back in action. <laughs> So we're going to Launch Bay, get a little picture, and then we're heading over to Disney Junior Dance Party. All this is is concept. Right. But look at like in the original idea, Luke didn't get a change in those best for teams before he fights it. Oh, yeah. I have all those prints I can't set. That's what I keep telling August. I'm like, if I could draw like you, that's what I would want to do is concept art. Even all the different shows, he's got a hand. He had a big hand in the galaxy thing. That's why I'm so into This is my absolute favorite image. I have this poster. Yeah, it's pretty one cool. Concept, design, and everything. No harpoon on there. Uh, and that's when Doug, yeah, Doug or uh, Joe Johnston, that was his concept design because look, it's the same cannon as on the x wing so it was interchangeable. Ah. Yeah, it's used maintenance. Ah. Same thing with me. Yes. The Imperial side over here. It has come, come, come. There she is. The Imperial 2 class. That's my favorite ship of the world. He's just not allowed to do stunches. He's not allowed to do stunches. No. Of the speeders, that's what they end up using in Rebels and in uh, Book of Boba Fett. Ah. Yeah, I have the high ground. Stop her. Okay, I won't. If, if you let me get down, I won't tell her. I said I wouldn't tell her. Membership has its privileges. Your allegiance is disappointing. Come here. Alright. Got our picture taken with Darth Vader. Just a couple of couple of fellas out Star Wars in it up. Uh, now we are gonna head over to Black Spire Outpost, the two Galaxy's Edge. The Star Wars land. Gonna head over there, and I think we're gonna stand in line for rides. I think we're gonna uh, skip Genie Plus and just see what the day brings us. So far, been good. 60 minutes for Darth Vader. Woo. Uh, if you were in line, they have a Visa, uh, Disney Visa spot. 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So that was nice. Uh, we rode Star Tours, said 30 minutes for that, about 15 minutes. So now we're going to cut through Toy Story Land and go look at some uh, Star Wars, see if we can find some good costumes. I've seen tons of people walking around in gear, but I figure I'll wait and, uh, and film them in context. Send out some flavor, so hang out, stay tuned. It's quite an outfit. Gary's getting his 
Com links. Display only. Where is the phone? Oh, here's one. Ah, it's too small for me. It'll never fit. some blue milk. Uh, mobile order, which is the way to go. But I didn't see my pass holder discount on there. So I'm not sure if maybe that doesn't work there or it says on mobile order, just link it to your account, which I've done. So let's see what's what. Yeah. Well, we're going to get that Bronto wrap. Bronto wrap. I've never been in here. Gary's along for the ride, so let's take a look. Get something good. Maybe you can find a table to sit down and eat. But I doubt it. Alright, so I've never been to docking, but it's time I got the tuna poke bowl. I'll put the ingredients down below as long as I didn't look. It's kind of rough, got a seat, which is nice. I feel like I put bad at a big table, so someone comes along, I'm sure I'll invite them to join me. Have some lunch with them. So this looks good. Noodles, mushroom, tuna. Oh, yeah. Ooh, my wife liked this. That's really good. A little sriracha, spicy, would that be overwhelming? This will go on the I mean, list. People are really starting to pile in. That's the line for Doc Endars. I heard it was three hours, but that doesn't look like three hours. Oh, no, because there's more line over here. I wonder what they're selling. I don't even know if they're selling anything that you can't get any other day. It's crazy Star, Star Wars. What's that? Sure. Just a casual conversation over there between Star Wars fans. Wow. Right, so, so Docking Bay 7 was a big hit. I had a Poke Bowl. It was delicious. Uh, I would definitely eat that again. Little mushrooms. It was awesome. Gary, how was yours? How was your stir fry? Outstanding. Outstanding. Gary doesn't say outstanding that often, so it had to be good. Lady across from us, I didn't see what she had, but she didn't like it. Nice. We let some people sit at our table because it's crowded, hard to find a spot. And so, uh, yeah. So now we're gonna go wait for a long time in Rise of Resistance. Want to walk through the shops? Looking good, guys. Just a little meeting by a trash can with a Ronto roaster. I'm afraid to go into any of the stores, it's so crowded. That's a pretty cool area, right? They've done a good job with that. Looks like something. I haven't been to Universal yet, but my buddy said it's like this, but not real. Like that feels like a I could be somewhere. All right, so next update will be length of rise of resistance. Let's go! Initiate replay sequence Engage repulsors and hold on, recruits. Resistance spies, this ship is now under the command of the First Order.
rescue you lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. <laughs> good ride. So good. And that was only like an hour and ten minutes. So not too bad. Not too shabby at all. And uh, I mean that just a good And on May the 4th no less. That's a lot of people guys. So overall I would say it hasn't been any crazier than a normal day but it's still a lot of folks. So May the 4th to hit the Star Wars land. So I'm gonna go do Muppets. It's cold, it's inside, and these folks aren't there. Putting the camera down here so you can feel my pain. And these tired, angry, sweaty people fighting, clawing their way through Disney to get to the next ride and scream at their kids. I do want to find those Star Wars churros. And I think after Muppets, gonna have to Instagram up some Star Wars churros. I'll fight you if that is absolutely a classic. I like it. My kid hates it. Uh, she's afraid of the Muppets. She has been for some time. So, now we can fight through these folks. And I go do a little Indiana Jones. And uh, last time I was there, they had changed that show a little bit. So, we'll see if they've added some stuff back. Like the audience participation. I don't even think they did the plane last time. It was a very short version of the show. So we'll go check that out. And then, uh... <laughs> it's good. Just got out of Indiana Jones stunt show spectacular. And while I still love it, they've made some changes I'm not thrilled about. I'm sure COVID is the reason that they uh, got rid of the group participation, but that really made the show. And the plan in the audience, even though I knew it was coming every time, kind of missed that. So let me know if that's the care, don't care, don't remember, don't want to remember, who knows? But uh, I think they need to touch up Indiana Jones a little bit. It's still pretty cool. Love the fire. It's a shorter show. Maybe that's better. But I miss the old one. How many How many Disney fans does it change to take an attraction? 100? 99 to do it? Or no, one to do it and 99 to sit around and talk about how great the old one was? All right, so we're popping back in to Star Tours again. See if I can get a different... I'm always looking for Hoth. Hoth is the one I want to ride through. That's my favorite one. There's so many lightsabers. Yeah, that looks good. That's where I think, I think all paths have to lead to that. Yeah. Get ahead. Wow, that's a lot of lightsabers.
Well, we timed that about right. We didn't get to be in it, but we got our, uh, our video. That looks so cool. That's pretty amazing. That's a lot of lightsabers. You with me? I'm just filming lightsabers. It's just a whole video of nothing but lightsabers. Look at all the red ones over there. A lot of chance for Vader over in the corner. Back there looks pretty good. Yeah, I got the first one. That's really cool. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that looks dope. <laughs> Look at the rainbow one. Right straight ahead. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. That is awesome. So I didn't get to go get my blade. Yes, but right. There'd still be a lot of people here. This is really neat. Huh? <laughs> it's just so much Star Wars. It's thinning out a little bit. But it, it kind of looks looks neat back this way, just looking down the street, just everybody walking around with their lightsabers. All these people united over over one little movie from 1977. And a lifestyle choice afterwards. Oh yeah, my buddy Gary just pointed out there. Well, they're not holding over here. I don't know, they're kind of stop some of the flow of traffic. <laughs> and this is most people are gone. Where to now, Phil? The old man. The hope for it's all, man. That's right. We are going. They are struggling to keep traffic moving here. Definitely is cleared out. But look at them go. Oh, there's a candy cane one. Oops, sorry. And then they are holding folks over here. 
keep them from coming in and crowding everyone. A lot of cis support out there. Pretty amazing. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Again, the park really, really changes at night. And I don't think there's this many lightsabers on a normal night. You know, it's our holiday and all. So we got really lucky there because they are holding, you can see here, this is all a line just to get into the Falcon area. Right. So they, we just happened to walk in after dinner, debated on whether or not to go back to our lockers and get our lightsabers and buy blades, which we would have missed everything anyway. So executive decision to jump in and it couldn't have been more perfect because we literally walked up with our phones out, with the video out to film the three, two, one, turn it on. Now they did it a couple of times. But still, I think we got the initial one, which is awesome. The first two have the most people. That's right. And now you can't even go in that area. It is restricted double double VIP. There's a queue line for safety purposes, they say. Safety queue line. line. Some of these photo pass lines are as long as uh, as Rise of the Resistance or Smugglers One right now. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Most underrated fighter in the galaxy. That looks incredible, man. I love it. Do you mind if I take a? That looks really good. He noticed it from all the way over there. <laughs> that looks great. Thanks, man. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. I mean, obviously, I'm pretty new at this, but I've seen a lot of the people like at cons. They're like, hey, do you mind if I take your picture? Do you mind take a video? I wish well, I'd taken... All the con pictures I've taken, if you had it, so, hey, can I take a picture? The user's very happy because they've worked so hard on the... Right. People are private though. I don't wanna I don't wanna make anybody mad. Look at that contraption. I think he built that over in uh it's got a lot going on though, I like it. Look how cool. In my locker. I just like the cutting out of the carbon arcade and the impact points. Well, that's going to end my May the 4th report. Coming to you live from Galaxy's Edge here in Batu. Successful night. Successful day. Couldn't ask for more. So stick around. Uh, more to come, man. More to come. So I don't know how I'm going to cut this video up. I don't know if I'm going to do one day or two videos or maybe a dining review, a morning and an afternoon. So I think I'm just gonna sit here and make different endings. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, stay tuned for the nighttime extravaganza over in Batu and Star Wars land. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching me wander around Disney Hollywood. Hit that subscribe button. Got a whole bunch more coming. In the mail, I'll be here for three days, really get some stuff done. So let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. Or, hey, thanks for watching my whole day at Disney Hollywood. We, did, we got a lot done. We laughed, we cried. We're gonna go do it some more. Uh, stay tuned for a dining review of Woody's Roundup, because that will be separate. That one will be on its own. But as far as the day goes, I'm not sure how I'll cut it up. So either you've watched all day, you've watched half a day, or you've watched none of it, in which case you're not here. So we, uh, we're walking out. It's been a good day. I've been here since nine-ish this morning. The park is beautiful at night.
We ate some food. We saw some lightsabers. Rode some rides. Again, I'm not sure how I'm going to stitch this all together, but I'll figure it out. So thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along. There's more to come. Back here in a couple weeks. I'll be here for several days, so I'm going to get a lot done. So if if anybody actually watches these videos, then uh, then let me know what you want to see next time. Maybe I'll put some reels out and try to get somebody to comment. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. You don't have to watch anything else. But I'm trying to get the subscribers up so maybe I can get better at this, get better content. People will like it more. Balloons. Can't go wrong with balloons. So I'm just going to leave you with uh, some fireworks and walking out.